What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here, and we are back with another day of Sopranos Timber. Today we are looking at the sixth episode of season six, Live Free or Die. Chris and Murmur are at a Narcotics Anonymous meeting where they run into a mobster from Yonkers, and he informs them about Vito being spotted in a gay bar last episode. They take this information back to the guys, and they debate about what to do about this. Some of them don't believe it, uh, some of them want to have Vito killed, um, but Tony wants confirmation before they make any moves, so they set out to find Vito. Now Vito has been in hiding this whole time at his Gumar's place, however their relationship is just for show. Uh, Vito doesn't have sex with her, he's not interested in her, he just likes having a Gumar to keep up the appearance that he's straight. They eventually track him down there and tell him that he needs to come in to talk to Tony and explain himself. Uh, but he runs away, thereby confirming their suspicion that he's actually gay. Uh, meanwhile, the plan to kill Rusty moves forward. Anna Lisa, the boss in Italy, is sending over two Italian hitmen to do the job. Christopher suddenly approves of the plan, even though he was disagreeing with it last episode. Uh, Tony's fight with Perry has gained the respect of his men back after he's proven that he can still take any of them in a fight. Christopher sets up a middleman who will provide the hitman with guns and direction, and the middleman is actually a drug addict who's being paid in heroin, and this is going to become a plot point later on. Uh, meanwhile, Carmela is organizing her annual charity event, and she is helping out with the planning, uh, but she's also growing her business. She owns the body shop now that Pussy's gone, and she's become so wealthy from it that she's even able to put money on the street acting like a gangster herself. Carmela is really jealous that uh, she's able to be so successful on her own without a man, and she again asks Tony uh, to get the permits for her house. Um, she wants to build the spec house all by herself so that she can prove that she's independent. Tony says that he forgot again, um, but it's clear that he doesn't care about her project. He's not really interested or trying to make it happen. Uh, meanwhile, the word is out that Vito is gay, uh, Meadow tells Carmela that Finn saw Vito giving a blowjob to the security guard when he went into work early that one time, and when Tony learns about this, he brings Finn in to tell the guys about it. Now that they have solid proof, some of the guys like Polly and Carlo really want to kill Vito to defend their family's honor. Others don't really care so much and even kind of find it funny, so we're seeing some different viewpoints on homosexuality in the mob. Tony, in particular, doesn't want to kill Vito. Vito's one of his best earners, and he knows that he could still probably earn more money from Vito being kept alive. And also, despite tradition, Tony really doesn't hate gay people. I mean, he's not a fan of, like, watching it or anything, but he does not want to kill them out of principle like some of the other mobsters do. He also doesn't want to have to provide for Vito's family if he's killed. Remember, Vito is a made guy. If anything happens to him, Tony is supposed to take care of his family as the boss, and Tony does not want to do that. Uh, when Phil finds out, though, he especially wants to find and kill Vito. Uh, Vito's wife is his cousin, and he takes it as a personal insult that Vito um, was being gay while being married to her. Syl later informs Tony, too, um, that if he cuts Vito slack for being gay... Others will take it as an opportunity to start withholding money from him. The idea being that if Vito is given a pass for being gay, then they're going to be given a pass for anything that they do as well. So at the end of the episode, Tony is really unsure about what to do when it comes to Vito. Uh, meanwhile, Vito has fled the state to avoid being killed. He leaves his wife and children behind and instead just takes some money he has stashed away with him. His car breaks down on the road during a rainstorm, and he finds himself stranded in a small town in New Hampshire. However, he finds the town is very different than New Jersey. Um, people are openly gay here, and it's a very tolerant atmosphere. He finds that he could fit in there and have his own life as an openly gay man, which is something that he's been wanting. The title of this episode, Live Free or Die, is New Hampshire State Motto, and it also refers to Vito's choice whether to live free in New Hampshire or go back to Jersey and die. Live Free or Die is also the title of a Breaking Bad episode. I bring that up for no particular reason. But that is the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next Soprano Log coming tomorrow.
on the six Dave Sopranos timber my Gumar gave to me six seasons long five onion rings four calling cards three French horse two Tonys and a Sopranos prequel movie special thank you to my patrons Hunter Tommy Smith Abdallah Alamari George Jones Russell Sean Graham Rooftop Rico Bellic, Heart of Markness, Broccoli, Isaiah, Placenta Juan, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Lance Klump, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, James, Conchok Chofel, Obstacle Racing Media, Daz J. Kit, William Lanson, and Johnny Two Hands.